Hi everyone, it's Ardeth, and I'm here today with a fun way to use the new Sunflower stamp in a Jillian Vance Designs new Best of Fall stamp set. At first glance, this set seems like an elegant, serious set, and it is, but Jillian added a pair of sunglasses to the set, and that just opens up a whole new world of possibility. I stamped the sunflower on my card panel, making sure I was happy with the centering of it, although you can adjust that when you trim it if you don't get it quite right. Then I stamped it again on a scrap piece of cardstock. I really only need the actual flower, so I didn't worry about the rest of it. I'm going to pop up the flower later with a fun, wobbly embellishment. Next, I colored it. I've really sped it up so that you can see each color, but so that you don't fall asleep. I colored the pot with cool grays, created some grounding with the same gray markers, and then I put green on the leaves and used the rest of the rainbow on the two sunflowers. I tried to keep the colors in the same spots, but it doesn't really matter. I just knew I wanted color on both the layers because they'll both be visible when I'm finished. For the flower center, only the top flower needed to be colored and I used the same cool grays to give some continuity to the design. I also didn't want it to be too dark because I wanted to stamp the sunglasses over top in dark black and I wanted enough contrast so that you could clearly see the sunglasses. I stamped them at a slight tilt for a jaunty look and I used Catherine Pooler Midnight Ink because it's a deep rich black. Then I cut the flower out with a circle die that was just slightly larger than the flower. I didn't want the stem showing at all because it shouldn't be part of the wobbly bit. Before I added the wobbler, I stamped a sentiment from Hey Chick that says looking good. I played with positioning a bit but decided that center bottom was best. Next I got out the wobbler. These are mini wobblers and they are available at many major crafting stores. This size is perfect for smaller items like this flower. They are made of plastic and they have two sticky areas with a spring in between. The spring lies flat for mailing, but it pops up and allows the flower to wobble a bit, making this card really fun and interactive. To keep the fun going, I decided to create a rainbow border on my card base. I used the chisel tip of the same markers I used on the flower and I just worked my way around the whole edge. This is a really easy thing to do. You just need to be sure that your border is wide enough so there's no white bits exposed when you adhere your focal panel. I added some white gel pen accents to the sunglasses and stardust stickles to the petals. You can see that the flower underneath is visible. That's why it needed to be colored. And that's it. Simple and silly and sure to put a smile on someone's face. I hope you enjoyed this video. Supplies are listed below and at Jillian's blog. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.